Hi everybody, Dr. Cobb back with you. Hope you're having a great week. That's my usual intro. I wanted to make sure I didn't forget it. Uh, <laughs> today we're going to be talking about some stuff about your spine. Now, uh, I'm just going to mention this if you hear yelling or anything in the background. We have a huge class going on uh, outside my office, so that may be what you hear. Now, the spine is a super interesting part of the body, and obviously tons of people have neck problems and mid-back problems and low-back problems. And as you know, in the z system, we focus a lot first on rebuilding mobility. Uh, if you look at children and how flexible and mobile they are, we should actually be examples for them as adults. But sadly, most of us lose mobility over time. And one of the big reasons is exactly what I'm doing right now, which is sitting. Sitting here at my desk, got computers you know, to look at. And so what I'm gonna do is take you through a very fast mobilization sequence that you can apply first of all for your mid-back, because we find so many issues with the mid-back. But the idea here is for you to understand a little bit about how the spine works. So let's talk really quickly. Um, whenever I tilt my head in my neck or if I tilt my spine, what happens is as the vertebrae is tilting, it's also performing another motion with it. And in the sciencey literature, they call this coupled motion. Now there's a lot of argument around coupled motion and exactly how it works in, in the spine, but there are a couple of basics that we can cover, which is whenever I tilt, I often rotate. So when the vertebrae tilts to one side, it also rotates at the same time. Now, why this is so cool to know is that we can take advantage of that. So whenever I work with people, one of the things that I notice is that many of them have a lot of difficulties in side bending. Even if they go to a gym, they tend to you know, flex forward and flex back and maybe even rotate. But one of the things we often don't do in terms of building mobility is side bending. And tons of shoulder problems, neck problems, low back problems, hip problems come from being uh, immobile on the sides of the body. So what we're going to focus on today is we're going to work on the thoracic spine. Now the thoracic spine is your mid-back. It starts at the base of your neck and goes down to the base of your ribs. And the way that we're going to work on this is we're going to, uh, we're going to do one motion, which is tilting, and then we're going to add rotation, and then we're going to come back and we're going to tilt a little further. And we're going to rotate and tilt a little further. And I'm going to show you um, kind of how this works based on how we think the spine motion is coupled. So the easiest place to start this is in the lower thoracic spine. Okay, so, so from basically your mid chest down, what we're going to do is we're going to bend in one direction. So I'm bending to my right and then I'm going to rotate to my left because from about T6 to T12, which is the vertebrae numbers, uh, we think that there is a what's called a contralateral coupling, which means when I bend to my right, I rotate to the left. Okay, so here's what you're going to do. You're going to sit up nice and tall, take an arm overhead, be comfortable with this. And then you're going to, in your lower ribs, tilt to the right. And then you're going to rotate left, just a couple of little beats, and then bend to the right more. And then rotate and bend. Rotate and bend. Rotate and bend. Rotate and bend. Notice I'm kind of losing my hair as I do that. The cool thing is, when you do this kind of coupled work very often, you'll get a much deeper range of motion uh, with very little stress. Because if I were to come over here and just bend and bend and bend and bend, I might be able to go further. But when I actually pay attention to how the spine works biomechanically, I can go a lot further, a lot faster, with a lot more ease. So you go again, tilt, rotate away, tilt, rotate away, tilt, rotate away, and just comfortably work into that range of motion and then maybe spend two or three uh, deep breaths there and then come up and do it to the opposite side. So if I was going to the opposite side, it would be tilt to the left, rotate right, tilt left, rotate right, tilt left, rotate right, and I just work my way down until I feel a nice, comfortable mobilization. All right, so that was awesome. That was the lower ribs. Now we wanna to go to the upper ribs. Uh, up above, so from mid chest up to the base of your neck, these follow a different pattern. It's called an ipsilateral coupling pattern, which means that when I tilt my upper spine to the right, I rotate to the right. So now what we're going to do is the same exact motion, except we're going to be tilting and rotating the same direction. So for the upper neck uh, and spine, what I kind of like for you to do is gently put your hands behind your head, not like this, but like this. Put your hands behind your head and you can actually flex just a little bit. So you're going to lengthen up through the neck, round slightly. Now from here, tilt to the right and rotate right. Tilt right. Rotate right, tilt right, rotate right. Go really gently with these because sometimes the mobilization or stretch that you feel will be 
very intense. It'll be different, <laughs> probably different than anything that you've been doing before. Now, if you've been doing our phase drills, you already know that we do a lot of um, what we call thoracic glides and we add rotations to them and sometimes we add tilts to them. These are the same exact motions that we're showing you, only now we're doing them individually so that you can go a little bit deeper into the motion. So let's go ahead and do our upper chest, our upper spine to the left. So once again, hands behind the head and neck. We're going to flex a little bit and we're going to tilt left, rotate left, tilt left, rotate left. If I let my head come in, I can usually get into my upper back a little bit more. So tilt left, rotate, tilt, rotate. That's it. You can do one pulse, you can do two pulses. So tilt, tilt, rotate, rotate, whatever is most comfortable for you. But like I said, this is to take advantage of the biomechanics of the spine to help you get better mobilization. And as you can see, I'm doing this at my desk. My back feels great. So give it a shot. Let me know how it works for you. Last thing though, go cautiously with these. Like I said, they're going to be fairly intense if you've never done them before. I don't want you to get any spasms or anything. So go less range than you think you need to your first few times through it. And let us know if you have any questions. Thanks. All right, so to recap this whole process, remember we broke your spine into two divisions, your mid-back into two divisions, the upper and lower portion. For the upper portion, remember you're going to tilt to the right, rotate right. For the lower portion, you're going to tilt right, rotate left. Now, I demonstrated a couple of different ways to do this. So let's say you're on your break, you're like, ah, mid-back's feeling tight, I want to do this mobilization. So you have two options. I'm going to demonstrate it with my mid, my the lower section. So I sit up, I get nice and tall. Option one is tilt. Rotate, reset, tilt again, rotate, reset, tilt again, rotate. Now, normally, if I'm doing it that way, I'll do two or three little tilts first. Tilt, 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 and then rotate, 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 reset, tilt, 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 and work my way down. Normally, three to five sets of that, and I'm good to go. The other option is to do a truly coupled motion where you tilt, rotate, tilt, rotate, Tilt, rotate, tilt, rotate. And you notice I ran out of breath there. So that's typically my end point <laughs> when I can no longer inhale comfortably. Both versions work, and I just suggest that you play around with them, see which one works best for you. Remember, you're shooting mainly for uh, three to five sets of this. The whole process to do your lower and upper back should take you less than approximately 90 seconds. Uh, if you can do it a couple times throughout the day, huge difference in how you feel, huge difference in your posture.